Recently, we made a video on the new Brompton Lazine pump. We had lots of comments asking how easy it is to pump up your Brompton tyre to a high pressure, especially in comparison to the old Brompton z -fowl pump. So that piqued our interest. How easy is it to pump up the Brompton tyres with each of these pumps? How hard can I pump them? How high can each of the pumps reach with the Brompton tyres? Just as a quick reminder, these clever little pumps are really for emergency use only when you have a puncture on, your, on the road and you want to get home. When you want to get your tyres to the right pressure, we use a track pump at home. But I'm not Mary Poppins and I can't ride with it. It's easy to tell what pressure you've achieved with the track pump because it has a gauge. But what pressure can we get to with these two little pumps? We could, of course, use a traditional pressure gauge, but we thought we'd lose pressure taking the pump off and getting the pressure gauge on. So we started thinking, and it's Christmas. So we thought we'd do some shopping, but we haven't done any shopping for people that we should do. We just did some shopping for the video. The next consideration, of course, is which tire to use. So, because I'm feeling strong, we went for a Kojak because it has the maximum allowable pressure at 115 psi, in comparison to the Marathon Racer at 110 and the Shawby one at only 100. So this is the wheel that I'm going to use, but I am going to change the tyre. I'm also going to change the inner tube to an SV4. Because the SV4 has a Presta valve and Brompton wheels take a Schrader valve. I'm going to need a valve converter. Like this. So you may wonder why we are changing our inner tube to an SV4 with a Presta valve. Well, it's not because we just prefer them, but it's also because we've got a pressure gauge which goes in line so that you can watch me pumping up my tires and the pressure that I've reached to. These funky little quark tire whizzes. Quark, not to be confused with the very nice yogurt. So I'm just gonna change my tire and inner tube. I'm gonna put the Kojak on, and now I'm all ready to do the pressure test. So we're going to pump up the tire using the new Brompton Lazine pump whilst we're monitoring the pressure and see how many pumps it takes me to pump it up as hard as I can get it. It's currently showing zero. So I'm now ready to start. I'm feeling the pressure. Forty. It's now getting hard work. Forty-three. To be honest, if this was my puncture and I wanted to ride home, I'd ride home. But for the video, I'm try doing a little bit more pumping to see where I can get to. At least 50, hey? Come on, let's get to that magic 50. Please? For the purposes of this pressure test, I'm stopping at 49.3 and I'm going to have a little break. And then we can start again. Next up, the Brompton z -Fowl pump. We have already changed the pump head round for our Presta valve. So we're just going to pop it on at a bit of a funny angle because I need to lock it in place. Here we go. 3 psi, 3.8. Our first z -fowl pump didn't seal properly, so we've changed to another one. Hopefully I have a little bit more luck with this one. So let's take three. 
26, 27. I haven't made any further. I got to 36.4. 36 I'm still at 36.4. I've definitely pumped a few more and I've left. I've got a lot. I've lost it. 35.5. Now the question is. Can I ride home with that like that? <sighs> I reckon I can ride home with 34 psi in my tyres and then I'll pop them up when I get home. Next up, hopefully a break. So we're just going to pop the track pump head onto our inline pressure gauge. Lock it in place and just check what pressure we're at zero. Now we are, oh, 19.3, 33.4, 50. I've beaten the other two pumps already. 63.9, 72.6. Oh, hang on. My app's going to sleep. 72.9, 81.5. Oh, how hard should I go? 89.5. 92.2 97 hmm. This is almost fun 105 now Should I go to the pressure the maximum pressure of the tire? 107 110 112 Oh whoops I need to stop 116 Now I can go to the maximum pressure of the tyre almost effortlessly. Awesome. That's what track pumps are for then, hey? I can confirm the track pump was the easiest to fit, even with the long valve and the relatively long connection on the hose. Simple. And finally, something I've never tried on a Brompton tyre because the capacity of the tyre and the CO2 canister don't seem to match in my world. But anyway, let's give it a go. This is the easiest emergency repair. Well, it should be, in theory. It gets cold, so I'm wearing gloves. Forty seven point three ninety nine. I think we'll stop there. Oh, 117. Well, that was the quickest and easiest. <laughs> My new emergency solution. You will need to wear gloves. It is properly frozen. A quick summary. These two little pumps will get you home. The Lazine pump, I managed to get my tire pressure up higher than the Zfal pump, but they both did very well. The CO2 canister is brilliant if you want a really quick fix, but I have been stuck with no CO2 canister or the inflator not working. So I'd want one of these. The track pump, it's amazing and it does exactly what it, you need it to do, pump your tyres up when you're at home. If you like this video of us pumping up our Brompton tyre, we'd really like it if you gave us a big thumbs up. Did we miss anything? please let us know in the comment section below. If you want to see more of our videos, we'd really love it if you subscribed. Just one thing we forgot to mention. The tyre whiz, it's really quite cool. We're not going to cover how to install it because someone has done it before and it's great. So DC Rainmaker showed us exactly how to install it and we followed it step by step and it easily installed. So thank you. Testing, testing. That wasn't right. <laughs> well, it was there. <laughs> it's now here. <laughs> so that you can watch me pressing, pre pushing. So here is my Christmas shopping with my Kojak tie. 
Admittedly, this one will get me home with a slightly heavier. Oh, take three at minus three psi.